Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to render a physical model-like image in Blender using the SketchUp model of Le Corbusier's Villa Savoy. Let's begin by downloading the Villa Savoy SketchUp model from the 3D warehouse. Let's download the version of SketchUp that you have installed or Allure version. Thanks to the creator who uploaded this model, you can find the link below. We need to edit the 3D model. Delete the ground of the model and make all materials the same. In Blender we will make the entire model in a wood texture. Let's continue making the same material white. Looks good. Now we will download the SketchUp Importer add-on for Blender program. You can select the zip file from here. According to your Blender version, you can find the GitHub link below. Let's open the Blender file now. Before importing the SketchUp file, we need to upload the zip file from the GitHub link to Blender. To do so, click on the Edit tab and select Preferences. To begin, Install your Blender file and search for the add-on. Let's install the zip file as an add-on. Don't forget to save your preferences next. Import your SketchUp file. The SketchUp model has arrived on the field. Let's move it to the center and prevent incorrect shadows with auto smooth while all objects are selected. While the camera is active, we will adjust our render view from the Activa camera. Press Alt CTRL0 to capture the camera view. The camera is cutting through the scene. Let's increase its distance. Let's adjust the dimensions of the rendered image from the Output Properties tab. While the camera is selected, let's make the camera lens orthographic. We can adjust the active camera angle by unlocking it from the view tab. Let's check our scene from the render view. The scene appears to be dark. We will add scene lighting to the high dynamic range image. You can download it from the link below. The shadow of this looks good, let's download it. We will load the downloaded file as an environment texture. Let's check. The shadow in our stage model is misplaced. We will change the direction of the shadow. We will select the world option from the shading tab below. The texture coordinate node is commonly used to provide texture. Coordinates, which are usually used as inputs for the vector input of texture nodes. To add mapping and texture coordinates, Press Shift and A. The mapping node modifies the input vector by applying translation, rotation, and scaling. We must modify the z-axis angle. 270 degrees seems appropriate. There is a website where we can download textures for free. You can download them from the link below. We will add a wooden texture to the existing material and apply it. We need to delete the ones that are different in order to make the existing materials the same. Let's give the name wooden to the white material. To the object we will go to the shading tab to edit. Load the wooden texture that was downloaded while the node is selected. Alright, let's switch over to material mode and take control from there.
to place it on the model. We will switch to edit mode. While the entire model is selected and selected a smart UV project with the U shortcut. The texture scale looks too big. Let's use the mapping node to reduce it. Edit from the shading tab. Now it looks good. We can adjust the glass material. According to the color tone of the scene, remove the nodes of the glass from SketchUp. Define a new material inside Blender. It needs to be translucent. We need to use the same material for the other glasses as well. Let's continue to patch the remaining parts of the model with the same material. Now we will add the background surface. We will add a plane by pressing Shift and A. And assign a material using the same steps. Rename the plane by pressing F to while it's selected. Add the paper texture material that we previously downloaded as the background. Let's adjust its scale again through the mapping node. Looks good. We will make additions to the model. In order to make it look more realistic, let's close the gaps and provide lighting effect. Lift it up with the extrude command. Also add the missing flower beds in the model. As we have made some model additions, we need to switch to edit mode. While the model is selected again and use the U shortcut to Apple Smart UV project. As we learned before, let's adjust the texture scale with the mapping node under the shading tab. Group the background and camera together so that we can easily turn them off when necessary. Switch to render mode to check how it will look in the final version. In addition, add the missing parapet to the model. Use the shortcut Shift and A. Open the vertex snap above for easy object movement and snap it. Switch to edit mode using the tab key. Then use G shortcut to move. We add extra edges with the loop cut command using CTRL and R. Then use the shortcut to extrude. We also make the material of the added parapet wooden. While the wooden texture of the papadin is selected, we will switch toted mode and use the shortcut U to do a smart UV project. Don't forget to use the shortcut 0 to easily switch to the active camera angle. To bring the scene to life, we can add urban furniture, trees, and people as environmental objects. We recommend you to check out our website. If you don't have a content library, first, 
We will start by adding trees. Let's choose what we will use. Copy them from the content file using CTRL and C. And paste them onto the scene using Ctrl and V position the trees on the scene using the move. Command and the G shortcut. With the shortcut Shift and D, we can easily copy it next to it. Scale the different positions of trees with the S shortcut. Select the trees we added and add them to the same group. Let's adjust the color of the tree leaves material. Scale them as we want and break their same formations. Delete the leaves of the tree for diversity. Let's continue by adding people to our scene. Choose what we will use. Copy them from the content file using CTRL and CN. paste them onto the scene using Ctrl and V. Position people on the scene using the move command with G shortcut. If we want, we can rotate the command using the shortcut key R. According to the composition of the scene, let's make people's wooden items in shades of gray. We continue to settle our people. Our scene has come to life. Now let's continue adding urban furnitures. This content seems suitable for our stage. Again, choose what we will use. Copy them from the content file using CTRL and C and paste them onto the scene using Ctrl and V. Position urban furnitures on the scene. Using the move command with G shortcut and rotate command with a shortcut. Let's not forget to make the materials of urban furniture objects out off wooden. Select a part of the Modakin object with CTRL and L and copy it with Shift and D. We can adjust the size of objects from elevations. If your graphics card is good for rendering, select CPU compute for the render settings the render engine should be cycles. For the quality 512 should be sufficient. Let's try rendering and see how it looks. As you can see, 
there are dark areas. We will add artificial rectangular lights there. We can add light using the shift and a shortcut keys. We can adjust the properties of the light from the panel on the right. Let's quickly copy to the necessary places with Shift and D. Place the lights. Our scene is finally ready to receive the render. Let's start rendering. Don't forget to save it on your computer by using the save as option. And this brings us to end of this tutorial. We hope you find this tutorial helpful, wishing you to use Blender in all your visualizations. Share your comments with us below. See you in the next one.